In this video we're going to take a look at the SEO configuration settings available in Genesis. To start off we'll need to go into the WordPress dashboard and then on the left hand side where you see Genesis hover over that and then click on SEO settings out of the menu that then appears. If you've used a plugin such as Yoast WordPress SEO plugin before or the all-in-one SEO pack a lot of this will be pretty familiar to you otherwise if what you see is reasonably new to you we'll try and keep it pretty simple so you can follow through accordingly. What we can first see is the ability to put in a publisher URL for a Google Plus profile. So you can put it in just like that. Uh, obviously you do need to know what your publisher URL is and you can get that off Google Plus. Uh, then you can choose to use semantic HTML5 page and section headings throughout the site. It's got to do with where H1 headings live and how they are seen by search engines. It's best to leave that enabled if you don't know anything about it and you're not really sure what you want to do. Next comes the document title where you can choose to add the site name to the title on inner pages. It really is going to depend on how you want to set up your website. It's usually a pretty good idea to leave this on though uh, because it will include the site name in the title of the, each page. Of course if you find the titles are too long with the site name you can disable this. Next, you can choose where you would like that to sit. On the left hand side or the right hand side of the page title. On the right hand side is probably the best place to have it. And as far as the separator, the dash is the default, but you can obviously choose anything you like. You can have a pipe or you have two slashes either way. It's really up to you what you'd like. Next, we have home page settings. So basically what we can do is set the home page document title. So if you don't choose to set this, then the site title will be used which is in settings and general so ideally you'll be using that anyway but you know if you do want to change it to be custom you can do it very very easily you can also choose to add a home meta description here as well always a very good idea to do this for the home page of your website just remember that you do have a character limitation of about 160 characters so it does need to be short and to the point Thereafter, we can choose to set the home meta keywords. Keywords are, for the most part, ignored and have been for a very long time after years of abuse uh, by people trying to game the system. So probably not a great idea or not a, a good use of time to go through and add those in. But again, if you would like to do it, you think you might get that extra 1% out of it, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Then we can just choose some robot meta tags for the home page. Basically, you can choose no follow, no index, and no archive. None of these are on by default, and nor should they be if you would like your home page to, to rank in search results. But of course, if your situation changes or for some reason you need to do that, you can do it very easily through these settings. Next, we've just got some settings for the head of the document. Now, it does note that a lot of the tags that these add are pretty arbitrary, unnecessary, provide no SEO value whatsoever, and just make your site a little bit slower to load. So there's not a great deal of use in having them there. But in some instances, you may wish to have them there or have a need for it. But again, as it says, if you don't know what something is, leave it unchecked. So you can have the adjacent posts relationship link tags in there. So what that is, is just links to the previous and next post. Uh, you can also choose to have Windows Live Writer support, which is software obviously available to Windows only that you can use to write blog posts with on your Windows machine and then connect to WordPress through that rather than logging into the dashboard. You can also choose to include the short link if you would like. Again, there's really no SEO value in this. Some services may wish to use it, but it's really up to you on your sort of case by case basis to decide if you want that in the head of the document or not. Next, we've got a fairly comprehensive array of settings in the way of robot meta settings. So, as it says, it depends on your situation and what you do and do not want to be indexed by search engines. But by default, and these are the defaults with Genesis that we see here, we can see there's no index on category tag, author, date, and search archives at this time. Having that on for most of these generally will make sense to you. It really depends on your website. I mean, if you run a news website, having the date archives index is probably a good idea so you would uh, turn that off by unchecking the box. Similarly if your website was very strongly driven by categories and you had a few very strong ones you would wish to uncheck that so that they do index accordingly. The next settings apply to the no archive robots tag. 
So you've probably seen this before when you've tried to visit a website and it goes, oh, do you wish to visit a cached version of that website? If you put in the no archive tag, and here you can do it to the entire site with one click, it'll actually stop Google and other websites from being able to archive your web page. Finally, we can choose to apply the no open directory tag and the no Yahoo directory tag to the website. These are very old directories that were used many, many years ago uh, as a way of getting your sites discovered by search engines. They're not really very useful or very relevant anymore, so generally you don't want these to be on your website because, you know, if you've got an old website, the search engines might harvest old information out of those old directories. So leaving these applied as default is always a great idea. Finally, we come to archive settings. So canonical paginated archives, and it's automatically turned on. So this basically means that if a search engine is looking at, say, page two of a category or page five of some kind of tag or archive of any kind, then it'll be redirected to the first page. As it says, if you don't understand this, leave it on. And when you're done making changes, simply click save settings. That brings us to the end of this video on Genesis and SEO settings. As you've seen here, it's got a lot of options out of the box. Further customization can be applied using other third-party plugins such as Yoast SEO or the All-in-One SEO Pack. But for most people, these SEO settings will do just fine. If you have any questions about what we've done here today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.